Today I'm in Cleveland, Ohio, and as they say, Cleveland rocks. I uh, decided to go and visit the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame here on the shores of Lake Erie. Uh, but, well, one, it's a little bit rainy here, so I, uh, yeah, it's rainy, and then there's a Cleveland Browns game going on just down the road, so I kind of had to wait for uh, all the fans to enter. It's like half an hour after the game started, and there's still people wandering in. You'd think they'd want to get there early and catch the game. Anyway, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Cleveland, Ohio. The reason that the Hall of Fame ended up here as opposed to Memphis or other cities that were vying for it is that the term, the word uh, rock and roll to describe the music, was originally coined here by a uh, Cleveland DJ. It's pretty typical for a Hall of Fame uh, museum downstairs. They told me go downstairs first because that's where 60% of their uh, memorabilia and things are located. Uh, so I did that, you go downstairs and there's a museum, the most current inductees to the Hall of Fame 2016. You go through and it, it traces the history of rock and roll from the very earliest days and how all these different music formats came together. Blues and gospel and R&B and they came together as the as things tend to do here culturally in the American melting pot and formed rock and roll. There is lots and lots of memorabilia, lots of guitars, uh, drum from the Beatles, uh, and then costumes, costumes of all kinds, shapes and forms. The coolest I think though was Michael Jackson's glove. It's glittery and so it, they had it turning and then as it turns the light would reflect off it differently. That was kind of neat. But lots of names and lots of uh, people that I recognize, and I'm not even a music guy. Got to go upstairs for the actual Hall of Fame. It's a curved hallway that goes around an auditorium where they play uh, video clips of all the different uh, uh, artists and bands that are, that are inducted here. But it, it was different than what I was expecting. All the other Hall of Fames that I've been to, Sports Hall of Fames, Astronaut Hall of Fame in Florida, there's usually a plaque with a picture or a bust of the individual. Well, because they've got music groups, I think is part of the reason. It's the name of the group or the individual uh, and then their signature. And then it's done alphabetically as opposed to by year, the year that they were inducted. So it starts with ABBA and ends with ZZ Top. Kind of cool. Again, I'm not a music guy, but I did have one goal uh, in coming to the Hall of Fame. I was going to try and find the plaque for Joan Jett. Uh, she was actually a passenger on, on one of my flights that I was working uh, several months ago. Most easy, easiest going passenger you could ever want on a flight. Uh, you know, genuine rock and roll Hall of Famer and just easy going as ever. Anyway, like I said, not a plaque, but it, their, her signature was on there. So that was kind of neat to go find that and tie it into somebody that I actually met was actually in the Hall of Fame. So that is it from uh, Cleveland, Ohio and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame.